I'm Miss Jeanette, and today I'm here with Miss Lorelai, and today we're going to be making mini banjos. It's going to be so fun. You can use recycled items from your junk drawer. It's old cans or something. You can use whatever you like, whatever's at home. Whatever's at home. And so we went through our recycle bin, and we found some plastic cups, a little tin can from dog food, a coffee lid. We even found a little soda pop lid that you can make a tiny little mini banjo. Tiny. Tiny. <laughs> All right. So well, we're going to use that for the round part that goes on a banjo. And for the handle, what do you think we should use? You can use popsicle sticks or anything. Just sticks. Pick any sticks you like. Maybe leftover ones from craft stores, chopsticks. Even from... popsicles. Can we eat popsicles? Sure. Popsicles for dinner. So I decided on the little tin can from our puppy's dog food. I think it's going to be really easy to decorate. I think it's going to have a cute little sound to it. What did you choose? I went through the kitchen drawers and found this little measuring cup. A measuring cup. She did not ask me if she could use a measuring cup, but that's okay. Anything for Craft It Up. Now before you go through your parents' drawers, do ask for permission. The good thing about using a measuring cup is that it already comes with a nifty little built-in handle. So all you have to do is add rubber bands to make the sound and decorate it a little bit with stickers, markers, paints, whatever you have on hand. So the first thing you're going to want to do before anything is decorate the body part of your banjo. I think I'm going to use some markers. What are you going to use? I'm going to use paint. Alright, let's get to decorating. Let's see, I think I want to use a purple. I think I want to make mine a rainbow. I think I want to make mine rain stripes. So while we were waiting for Lorelei's paint to dry on her measuring cup banjo, I went ahead and finished mine. So what I did is I finished coloring the outside of my can and I added my rubber bands to it and then I used a big popsicle stick. I decorated it with some markers and I drew some lines with a sharpie and I attached it to the back of my can with a bit of glue. What are you working on over there? I'm working on my other banjo. I just need to finish this last rubber band. That looks good. Perfect. Let's take a look at what you got there. All right, so Lorelai decided on a three rubber band string banjo. That's awesome. So next thing we're going to do is get this popsicle stick and decorate it. Ready and magic. Whoa! So we already colored that blue, and that's one of Lorelai's favorite colors, right? So what you're going to do now is you're going to attach your the neck of your banjo to the music playing part. So we're going to use a little bit of hot glue, and if you need help with this, please get an adult's help. This is going to be very dangerous, and it's very hot, so be careful. And you're going to put a good dollop of hot glue on there, and you're going to press your banjo onto the stick. Which way do you want? Strings this way or strings this way? Strings this way? All right. You can put your strings however you want them. Be creative. All right, so just hold that there for a little bit. Again, be very careful, it's hot. And what I did is I added another little sticker on the inside of my banjo. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a little music note because after we finish this one, we're gonna start the band. A miniature banjo band. <laughs> Maybe we'll make an electric guitar next. What do you think? <laughs> you think we're that good now that we've made that now that we've made uh, miniature banjos? We can make electric guitars, maybe. All right, and that's how we make a miniature banjo. So we just gotta rock out. Ready? Thank you so much for joining us again. I am Miss Jeanette from Mammon Family Public Library. Come and see us or visit us online. And this is my daughter Lorelai. Bye, guys. Have a good evening.